I remember as a young girl, my mom taught me all about Jesus and I was just so attracted to this being. And I had a, a recognition that at that young age, even then that it was about love and that it was about me being more like this being. And as I got older, as many of you have had a similar experience, the culture, the religion, uh, brought forth in me, uh, a great sense of unworthiness. Um, I am from a Southern Baptist tradition and, uh, that is a lot of hellfire and brimstone kind of teaching and preaching, right? So by the time I was 18 years old, I recognized within myself, uh, that, um, I had to make a clear choice. Either I had to be myself or I had to uh, take on these beliefs that I really didn't believe in. So I kind of walked away from that lineage for a few years. And what do we do when we actually find these distortions in our lineage? It's like we have a choice at some point, either we turn away or we come to some sense of a higher truth. So for me in my spiritual lineage, when I decided to walk away from it, I rediscovered it in uh, the new thought tradition because new thought uh, is, it is born from the same place that emissaries of divine light is born from. It's born from the teachings of Jesus. So as all those years ago, I began to have a different understanding of the teachings of Jesus and began to embrace it more and more. But still what I noticed in my own, my own walk, that there was still a lot of shame around that. I was ashamed of the oppression that the religions that I was affiliated with uh, put on to humanity. Now at this stage of my own evolution, I can embrace that. I can embrace where my lineage came from and I can embrace it because I know it for myself. I know that through my communion with this divine presence, my communion with the Christ spirit, the communion with my own being and with you, when I can commune with you from this space of love, from this space of understanding, I begin to know oneness. I begin to know it. And it is such a liberating thing when we begin to know this for ourselves. We all come to this place in our own selves where we decide what is it that I want to bring forth? What is the potential of my heart and mind? How can I live into this more fully? What can I let go of that does not serve me or does not serve my chosen family or does not serve this evolution? What can I let go of? And what I found in my own experience that it's, it's a continual thing. We're always peeling away the layers so that the truth of who we are can come forth. And so on this day, I greatly celebrate the knowing, the loving that is revealing itself as me, that is revealing itself as each of you. So grateful to know that the origin of humanity is a shared experience. You know, for me, I've come to a new revelation of that. It is not about us agreeing about everything. It is us being filled with spirit and recognizing the God in ourselves, the God in each other, so that we do not have discord. It's not about believing everything the same. It's not about having all the same ideas. 
It's about us being filled with the truth of being. It is about us being filled with the spirit. And from that place, through whatever path has brought us to this place, we are in accord. We are in vibrational agreement. We are in the vibration of the highest love together.